What's up y'all and welcome back to The Nurse Nook. If you're new to my channel, just a little introduction. My name is Alexis Nicole. I'm an ER pediatric nurse and I make videos all about lifestyle and my life and journey as a registered nurse. So today's video is gonna be what's in my bag inspired by my <laughs> Instagram stories that I've been doing. If y'all follow me on Instagram, which you should. I started this like mini segment as a joke called in my bag because I realized that I unintentionally not on purpose just always have random stuff in my bag for whatever reason and so the first one was like a egg carton the second one was like a big old bottle of pasta sauce I just have random things in my bag like my just normal uh, day and day day to day purse and so I was like you know what let me make a, a YouTube video about what's in my bag I did this a while ago but I that was like what a year and a half almost two years ago now Maybe like a year and a half ago. No, two years ago. Sheesh, time flies. Anyways, I figured let me do an updated video for y'all and show you guys what is in my bag now. I'm sorry if I'm giving y'all a glare. This looks weird though. If I put my glasses way down here. Maybe if I just tilt my head down a little bit. Because I am blind without these glasses. Um, I didn't feel like putting my contacts on today. But you know what? For y'all, I will be blind. I swear to y'all I am like that blind I'm gonna be like looking at the camera over here thinking that I'm looking at myself let me just uh, let my eyes get adjusted for a second so this is the bag that I take to work every day it's a backpack I used to carry like a tote but that was killing me because it was super heavy and I really love having a backpack because I can close it I can just throw it anywhere and I know it's safe I got this bag from ASOS.com I'm not sure if they still have it but the the um, company is HXTN. I used to think that meant Houston, Texas, but then I realized that Texas did not have an N in it. But whatever, I love this bag, it's great quality. I've had it for like a year now. It has done me justice. I take this bag to work with me every single day and pretty much everything stays in my bag. The only thing I take out of it is my planner. Um, and the only thing that I'm not gonna show you guys in the video that I always have with me is like water and like food stuff which that changes on a day-to-day -day basis. And I can do another video on like food and stuff that I take to work. I think that'd be interesting. So the first thing that I always carry in my bag, my little prop, um, this is usually always in my bag. I don't take it out because if I take it out, I will forget to bring it back to work for my next shift. So it's usually always just in my bag. Yeah, I'm in my bag, but I'm in his too. So this is my stethoscope. It's an eco stethoscope. I used to have a little cow on it that moved and had a little light for the kids. Um, I don't know what happened to her. So right now all I have is this little plush smiley face on it or kissy face. It's really important, especially in peds. Um, I work in the pediatric ER and so it's really important that I have like kid friendly stuff, especially if I'm coming at them with like this big old thing like ee, ee, ee. but then they see like a, you know, a happy little face. They're like, oh, she's friendly. She has stuff for me. Ooh. And so that is the first thing in my bag. Moving along, one of the favorite things that I carry with me to work every day is my planner. I'm addicted to planning, I'm addicted to writing stuff in my planner. Even if I don't always look at it, for some reason just writing it down just makes me feel really good and just seeing my month planned ahead, it kind of just keeps things in perspective for me. Um, and when I'm at work, if I have a second, if our new schedule comes out, I'll jot down our new schedule, put it right in my book. Um, and whenever I have a second, I just, you know, try to plan out my week and add any new dates in there. And so I usually always carry this with me to work. Another important thing that I have in here is my umbrella. Very important because you never know when it's going to rain and I work overnight. And so if I come out in the morning and it's raining, I don't want to have to walk to my car, you know, getting drizzled on. And so umbrellas are really important to have. And this one is really small. I forget it's even in my bag because it just falls to the bottom and... Um, forget about her but whenever I do need her she come in handy the next thing I have in here is my little notebook it says this is the day that the Lord has made let us rejoice and be glad in it so this isn't like a journal that I write about my feelings throughout the shift this is more educational and so what I do also when I get free time this is gonna sound really nerdy but I love to study in my free time at work and learn more about you know pediatrics and just my job in general and my um, job offers this really cool thing called HealthStream. Um, I'm sure a lot of other hospitals do it. It's basically like online modules. Most of them are required, but I will literally um, go on there and like learn about different stuff. So 
I was learning about all neonatal processes recently. And so I just found all these different uh, health stream modules that were offered for free through the hospital. And so I basically just read the, through the modules and write notes on things that I think are important because I do not retain information well unless I write it down. And so I basically have like a little notebook of stuff that I have been learning. And so I'll put like little post-it notes on there. And so this is like NICU stuff that I was learning about, apnea prematurity. Not sure if you guys can see that, but I will just write like tons and tons of notes. And like sometimes I'll print out little stuff to like charts and stuff to have here. And so this is a really good um, thing to work on for myself whenever, you know, I'm in between patients or whenever I have a second because it's still working. Um, technically I'm learning about my job it's not like I'm you know playing video games or you know learning about something that's irrelevant I'm learning for my job talking about things that help pass the time as well I always have a book with me this is the book I'm reading now the tools by Phil Stetson Barry Michaels I usually only read on my breaks because <clears throat> it's never usually slow enough to read um, on, on the unit um, but whenever I'm on my lunch break, I always like to take my book and find a quiet little place to eat and just, you know, kind of de-stress and relax um, in the midst of my crazy shifts. Ooh, I found a dollar. So in addition to my um, big notebook that I have, I have another mini notebook that I also like to write notes in. These notes in here are from a pediatric book, like a textbook that I just have, um, which I used to bring that um, for at work before I discovered health stream and so it saves a lot of space and a lot of weight in my bag by not having to bring that big old book and so I just learned stuff online so moving on to kind of like the meds that I carry in my bag um I don't know what happened to this cap I just found this um in there but I do like to bring some kind of medicine because you never know what's gonna happen on the shift and you always have to be prepared and so I wear contacts and um, I wear glasses, but I do have really dry eyes sometimes, so I like to bring um, wetting eye drops. And then I also used to get stuffy very often, especially when I was sick all the time first working. And so I have the Sinex um, nasal spray that works really well for me. I also keep a pack of Hall's cough drops. This is for when I did have a cold or whenever you know I feel like a little itchy. Got that on deck. This is probably the most important thing that I keep in my bag, and that is Aquaphor. And this one is almost through, but you know, I gotta get my money's worth and squeeze every last drop out of here. But I am a fiend for Aquaphor. I am literally addicted. It is literally like crack to me. I cannot live without Aquaphor. I apply it like at the very minimum 10 times a day, and as soon as I feel it drying out, I'm like, need my Aquaphor. Literally cannot even go to sleep without it on my lips. Um, that is probably a little bit unhealthy, but don't care need my aquaphor at all times very good moisturizer i actually got this tip from beyonce beyonce spoke about it in a magazine that she uses aquaphor i was like um if beyonce uses aquaphor i gotta use aquaphor this is for all my women out there it's always important to keep tampons with you because you never know when mother nature is going to sneak up on you and you always want to be prepared i also pretty sure somewhere deep in the pits of this bag i have panty liner somewhere um guess not i actually have to refill it so that is good to know i actually did not know this was in here but now that i know it's in here this is very useful of me very resourceful of me i have an emergency beefaroni um little pack in here i just threw this in here because you never know when you're gonna be literally starving to death and i don't eat these on the regular this is literally like my emergency food but you never know when like you're gonna be starving to death and there's no food places open and you know you just gotta open up you open up you open up yourself a little can of beefaronis oh some more meds i have in here this package is very ran through because i kept it here for so long is the easy pack this is really good for fighting off or preventing when you're feeling that you're starting to get a little bit sick so this has echinacea zinc and vitamin c in it it's kind of it's similar to like an emergency that you drink but i love this because it has echinacea and zinc which are awesome for preventing and treating um, any kind of colds or any kind of illnesses not a doctor but that is just something that I learned works well with my body. 
Trauma shears. I do work in a trauma center. I am an ER nurse, and so trauma shears are kind of something that is essential. And so these are the trauma shears I got. They're Madison Supply from Amazon. They work amazing, and I love how like sleek and matte and black they look. I also have some leave in here because again, you never know when you might have like a little headache sneak up on you, and you always want to be prepared. I have some lotion because, as you know, nurses wash their hands very frequently and my hands I know are always looking rough because of how frequently we wash them and so you always want to keep them moisturized and so that you don't start cracking. Another thing I have in here is my PALS pamphlet. This is really good to refer back to. There's a lot of great information. Um, this is from the American Heart Association and they give you this when you take the PALS course which is PALS is Pediatric Advanced Life Support. It's basically the pediatric version of ACLS. So very handy to have. So I also have a couple packs of honey that I actually got from Starbucks. I always ask for extra honey and so that I can keep it with me in my bag whenever I need it because I like the travel honey packets. I have honey because I'm an avid tea drinker. I usually never drink coffee. I drink tea daily and so I drink tea and honey. And so usually when I'm at work, if I wanna make another cup of tea, I have some honey to put in my tea. And along with that, I also have, this is, oh my God, I don't know where it is. Um, I guess I need to put a new one in here. <laughs> I have tea packets that I usually always carry with me. I always keep some post-it notes with me just in case I ever have to write something down or stick it in my little book or need something to, you know, have a little reminder on my desk, whatever it is, post-it notes. And last but not least, these are only a few of what I have, but I usually always, not usually, I always, always keep highlighters and pens with me. I use the highlighters for multiple things. I use it for my brain sheet that I like to call it. If I have any outstanding orders, I like to write it down and highlight it so it sticks out to me. And I also like to highlight things on patient's discharge paperwork that are really important to pay attention to. You go through pens like no other. I don't know what it is about working in a hospital, but it is, impossible to keep a pen for more than a few shifts and so i always have extra because you never know when you're going to run out and also people always ask for pens and i was like yeah i have like ten thousand in my bag and so that is what was in my bag i hope you guys enjoyed that video let me know if you guys would want to see a food i take to work or something along those lines if i'll be interested in that again thank y'all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video